Either someone wants to know these deadly substances for a science project or an evil scientist is in the making, whatever the reason, apparently people wanted a part 2 of this. Hi, my name is Jessa and we're going to look at the top 10 deadly substances you should never touch part 2. Number 10, azidoazide azide. Azidoazide azide is a chemical compound with an unusual and highly reactive structure. The compound has gained attention due to its explosive nature and sensitivity to various external factors. The molecular formula for azidoazide azide is C2N14, carbon 2, and nitrogen 14. It contains multiple azide N3 or nitrogen 3 functional groups, and the compound is particularly part of the azide family, which is also characterized with its presence of the N3 group. A Nitrogen atom bonded with two other nitrogen atoms, azidoazide azide, is also known for its extreme sensitivity and explosive nature. It is considered one of the most explosive compounds ever synthesized. Even slightly disturbances such as a mechanical shock or changes in temperature or pressure can lead to its decomposition and release of its energy. Researchers must take extreme precautions during the synthesis, handling, and storage of this compound, and despite its hazards, scientists still have been interested in azidoazide azide due to its unique properties and potential applications in the field of energetic materials. Understanding its reactivity and explosive behavior contributes to knowledge about high energy compounds. The detonation mechanisms of azidoazide azide involves the rapid release of nitrogen gas, which is a characteristic of azide compounds. The energy released during the decomposition is what makes azidoazide azide very and highly explosive. Number 9. Hydrogen Fluoride Hydrogen fluoride HF is a chemical compound composed of hydrogen and fluorine. It is a colorless, corrosive, and highly reactive gas at room temperature and pressure. In its liquid state, Hydrogen fluoride is a colorless and fuming liquid, and the compound has important applications in various industries but is also known for its hazardous nature. Hydrogen fluoride exists as a gas at room temperature but can be condensed into liquid under pressure. Hydrogen fluoride is highly soluble in water, forming hydrofluoric acid when dissolved, and when hydrogen fluoride dissolves in water, it becomes and forms hydrofluoric acid as a strong and corrosive acid. Hydrogen fluoric acid is also known for its capability for etched gas, as hydrogen fluoride is used in its production of various chemicals including fluorocarbons, fluoropolymers, and pharmaceuticals. Hydrogen fluoride is extremely hazardous and exposure to HF can cause severe burns and inhalation of the gas can lead to respiratory distress. HF exposures requires immediate medical attention and the toxicity of hydrogen fluoride is primarily due to its ability to penetrate tissue deeply. Skin contact can result in delayed chemical burns and inhalation can cause damage to the respiratory system. Due to its hazardous properties, the production and handling and use of hydrogen fluoride are subject to strict regulations and safety standards in many countries. Number 8. Ethylene glycol. The main ingredient in antifreeze is also a common household chemical used in coolant in cars. It is a colorless, odorless, and sweet tasting organic compound. However, it is also a very dangerous poison, so don't go around trying to taste it anyway. One of the primary uses of ethylene glycol is also known as antifreeze, and it's coolant in automotive engines and heating systems. It is also added to water to lower the freezing point and raise the boiling point of the coolant, preventing the formation of ice in cold temperatures and reducing the risk of engine overheating. Ethylene glycol is toxic to humans and animals if ingested, and the toxicity is attributed to the metabolism of ethylene glycol in the body where it is converted into toxic metabolites. Ingesting even small amounts can lead to severe health effects including kidney damage and if untreated, death. In the body, ethylene glycol is metabolized by alcohol dehydrogenase, an enzyme in the liver, and the toxic metabolites formed into this process can cause metabolic adiosis and damage the kidneys. This process is also known as ethylene glycol poisoning, and due to its toxicity of ethylene glycol, there is an alternative antifreeze formations available, such as those based on propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is less toxic and is often used in applications where human and environmental safety is a concern. Number 7. Nicotine If you smoke cigarettes, you might have been told a few times that nicotine is the main source of its addiction as well as its combination within tobacco, and, but here are some info as to why. Nicotine's chemical formula is C10H14N2, and it's a nitrogen-containing compound and a member of the class compounds known as alkaloids. Nicotine is particularly naturally present in the leaves of tobacco plants and in a smaller amounts of other plants within the nightshade family, such as tomatoes, potatoes, and eggplants. So if you've ever seen the Simpsons episode where Homer decided to mix tobacco and tomato seeds, and made it into tobacco, well, there you go. As you might know, nicotine is highly addictive and individuals who use tobacco products can develop a physical and psychological dependence on it. Nicotine addiction is a significant factor in the continued use of tobacco products as nicotine is commonly consumed through smoking tobacco in cigarettes or cigars. Other methods of administration include smokeless tobacco when while nicotine itself is not considered carcinogenic, the delivery methods and other components of tobacco smoke area are associated with various health risks including cancer, respiratory diseases, and cardiovascular diseases. 
It is important to note that while nicotine itself is a stimulant and can have cognitive effects, its health risks associated with tobacco are used primarily related to numerous harmful chemicals produced in its combustion. Like most additives, people who struggle to stop smoking do have options to reduce their intake of nicotine, and it is possible to fully stop smoking. Number six, alcohol. Also known as ethanol, alcohol is a psychoactive substance that is commonly consumed for recreational and social purposes. However, alcohol can have both stimulant and depressing effects on the central nervous systems, depending on the dosage and individual response. The primary organ responsible for metabolizing alcohol is the liver. At low to moderate doses, alcohol acts as a central nervous system depressant, producing effects such as relaxation, lower inhibitance, and a sense of euphoria. At higher dosage, however, can lead to impaired coordination, slurred speech, and sedation. Chronic and heavy alcohol consumption is associated with various health risks, including liver disease such as cryosis and cardiovascular problems such as risk of certain cancers and neurological disorders. Alcohol harm can cause and also contribute to social and mental health issues as abrupt cessation of alcohol consumption in individuals who are dependent on alcohol can lead to withdrawal symptoms including anxiety, tremors, nausea, and in severe cases, delirium tremens. Although alcohol is widely used throughout the world, it does have its negative effects as we know. Though who wish to reduce their alcohol consumption or try to stay away from it, please respect those who are trying to do so and respect their choices. After all, those who are suffering with alcoholism needs help and 100% it is possible to stop drinking as I believe in you. Number five, Batrochin toxin is a highly potent and deadly neurotoxin found in certain species of frogs. These toxic frogs, often referred to as poison dart frogs, are native to Central and South America. Batrochotoxin is one of the most toxic substances known and is believed to have served as a chemical defense mechanism for these frogs. This toxin belongs to a class of compounds known as a steroidal alkaloid and it's complex organic molecule with a steroidal core and its various sides of chains. This specific structure of batrochotoxin contributes to its extreme toxicity and it acts by distributing or disrupting the normal functions of sodium channels in the nerve cells. This disruption leads to a rapid and sustained depolarization of nerve cell membranes causing paralysis and ultimately of course death. Poison dart frogs, particularly those in the genesis phyllobates, are also known to contain batrochotoxin in their skin. The frog contains the toxin through their diets which include consuming certain arthropods including mites and ants and this produces or stores batrochotoxin. Indigenous people in Central and South America have been known to use extracts of the skin of poison dart frogs to poison the tips of their blow darts or arrows, and these poisoned projectiles were traditionally used for hunting purposes. The production and storage of batrochotoxin in the skin of a poison dart frog is believed to be a form of chemical defense against predators, but the frogs are not innately toxic because they acquire the toxins through their diets, assimilating them into their skin. Number four, piranha solution. Piranha solution is a highly reactive and corrosive mixture used in laboratories for cleaning and oxidizing purposes. It is composed of two main components, concentration of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. Piranha solution is typically prepared by mixing concentrated sulfuric acid with hydrogen peroxide, as the exact ratio may vary depending on the, various, um, the specific applications, but its common ratio is 3 to 1. Handling piranha solution requires extreme caution due to its corrosive and oxidizing nature. It can cause severe burns and potential fire hazards as proper personal protective equipment or PPE, including gloves, safety goggles, and lab coats must be worn when working with piranha solution. Additionally, the mixtures should be prepared and used in a well-ventilated fumed hood as piranha solution is highly reactive and should be prepared fresh when needed. It should not be stored as a mixture can become unstable during overtime and leading to the risk of uncontrolled reactions. Disposal of piranha solution requires careful consideration and the solution should be neutralized before disposal and local regulations regarding the disposal of hazardous waste should be followed. Due to the hazards and association with piranha solution, alternative cleaning methods or mildly or milder oxidizing agents may be used when appropriate. Number three, carbon monoxide. We know that carbon dioxide is the result of exhalation of oxygen when inhaled into our lungs, but that extra oxygen is what makes it tolerable to humans and the air in general. But what is also mixed in the air is also including to carbon monoxide, but in very small increments. But what is carbon monoxide and why is it so important that we need to stay clear of it and be aware of it if it is seeping into our homes? Carbon monoxide CO is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless gas that is produced by incomplete combustion of carbon containing fuels. It is a toxic gas that can pose serious health risks to humans and animals when inhaled in insufficient concentrations. Carbon monoxide is often referred to as the silent killer because of its stealthy nature and the absence of warning signs. Carbon monoxide is toxic because it binds to the hemoglobin in red blood cells more strongly than oxygen does, and this reduces the blood's ability to transport oxygen to body tissues organs leading to hypoxia or oxygen deficiency, and potentially causing serious health risks. The symptoms include headaches, dizziness, weakness, nausea, vomiting, chest pains, and confusion, and prolonged exposure to high concentrations can be fatal. Because carbon monoxide is colorless and odorless, it cannot be detected by human senses alone, and carbon monoxide detectors are 
essential for detecting the gas and providing an early warning of its presence. If carbon monoxide poisoning is suspected, it is essential to move to fresh air immediately and seek medical attention. Number two, thioacetone, a highly volatile and mulderous uh, liquid that has gained notoriety for its extremely foul smell. Thioacetone is infamous for this. The smell has been described as one of the most offensive and nauseating odors known, and it is also known to cause people to experience symptoms such as headaches, nausea, and vomiting even at extremely low concentration. Thioacetone can be synthesized by reacting acetone with hydrogen sulfide in the presence of an acid catalyst. The reaction produces to thioacetone and water. Thioacetone is very and highly volatile, and a strong odor can be detected even at very low concentrations in the air. The volatility contributes to the rapid dispersion and of its unpleasant smell due to offensive odor and potential health effects. Thioacetone should be handled with extreme caution in laboratory settings. Proper ventilation is crucial, and personal protective equipment, aka PPE, including respiratory protection, may be necessary. It is important to note that extreme odor of thioacetone is a result of volatile nature and the release of volatile sulfur containing compounds. Due to the potential discomfort and health effects associated with thioacetone, it is handled with care and is used typically restricted in controlled environments with proper safety measure in place. And finally, number one, myototoxin. Apparently, there is something more toxic than VX nerve agent, which in our last video was our number one. Mitotoxin is an extremely potent biotoxin produced by Gambier discus toxins and is a type of dinoflagellate species. And mitotoxin is apparently shown through its research and discovery to be more than 100,000 times as potent as VX nerve agent. Mitotoxin is a highly potent marine toxin produced by certain species of dinoflagellates, which are a microscopic algae found in marine environments. Myototoxin is also known for its extreme toxicity and is one of the most potent natural occurring toxins. It poses a significant threat to marine life and can be harmful effects on humans if consumed through contaminated seafood. Myototoxin is one of the most potent marine toxins known and it acts by opening calcium channels in cell membranes leading to an influx of calcium ions into cells. This disruption of cellular calcium homeostasis can have severe toxic effects on various cell types and can cause damaging on fish gills, disrupt on cellular functions, and lead to fish mortality. The presence of myototoxin in coral reef ecosystems can have a cascading effects on the marine food web. When a human consumes contaminated fish, they may experience symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, neurological effects, and severe cases, respiratory distress. Despite its toxicity, researchers are studying myotoxins for its unique chemical structure and potent applications in medical research, understanding its mode of action on cellular calcium channels, and can have implications for neurobiology and pharmacology. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something cool, and I definitely did. But in the end, too much of anything can be dangerous. So be safe. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. My name is Jess, and I wish you all the best.